What's up everybody? Welcome to Mexico. I'm your girl Salua and in today's video we are going to talk about how much I spend in one week in Guadalajara, Mexico. So let's go! So when I arrive in Guadalajara I do not include my flight nor my taxi to get to the hotel. So this time I stayed only one week so I did not get a house sitting gigs. So I stayed at the fabulous hotel and co-living space Selena. For that, I spent about $38 a night and my total for the week was $260, which I got one free night because it was my first time staying with Selena. Second thing I spent money on was food. So because I didn't stay long enough in Guadalajara, I decided not to buy groceries and I simply ate out every day. So on average, a meal in Guadalajara would be around five to six dollars in the central area. But if you eat street food, it's between 12 to 15 pesos or about 60 cents for one taco. And honestly, they are delicious. You can eat out street food all day and that's gonna cost you nothing. But in my case, I had breakfast every morning at the cafeteria downstairs and usually was some fruits with definitely coffee, as you know. And I would stay there for a couple hours and work. You also do have a co-working space at Selena, but when I'm in a new city, I actually like to sit at the terrace and look at the people. And that's really enjoyable for me while I'm actually getting some work done. So for breakfast in the morning, including coffee and one meal a day, on average, I spent about 10 to $15 a day. And I did go out and eat at the famous Garibaldi. I had carne con su jugo. This is the restaurant that served the food the fastest apparently. And that's kind of true. If you watch my video right here about Guadalajara, you will see as soon as we arrived, we had all the appetizer already on the table. We didn't have looked at the menu. And then we had to pick uh, what we wanted, which obviously is known for carne con su juro. And the medium dish cost me about 150 pesos, so $7. Now you add tips, appetizer, and a drink. So I would say I paid between maybe 15 to 20 bucks. So my total for the week in Guadalajara for food was about $100. Next thing I spent money on was transportation. And again, Guadalajara is a very walkable city, so I walked pretty much everywhere, but I did take the taxi a couple of times. I didn't use taxi per se, I used Uber, and I went to a couple of places like Telaquepaque, I went to the Centro, I also see other historic places. So I went to a couple of places using Uber, and my total for the week was about $25. I did not include my ride to the airport, and I also did not include tips. The next thing I spent money on is entertainment, but because I only stayed one week, I didn't do any major tours for a day I mainly stayed in the city and uh, maybe the most that I've done is going to a rooftop bar where I had one or two drinks and on average a drink was about seven US dollars so I will include that into my entertainment and the other thing that I did is I bought a new dress that I really liked so I would add an extra 50 bucks to cover my entertainment for that week that's about it. It's kind of boring, but like I mentioned earlier, I am not on vacation. I do work most of the days. And so I would do things maybe in the evening or on the weekend. And um, yeah, so if you are visiting on vacation, you would probably spend a lot more. So the total for my week in Guadalajara was equating to $435. Yes, and actually half of that is for the hotel. So if I didn't have to spend money on lodging because I house it all the time, I would have spent less than $200 in one week for everything else in Guadalajara and have a really good time. So if you wanna know your average for a month, if you decide to stay in Guadalajara for a month, just multiply this by four. But actually there's a hint to this. If you stay in an Airbnb or a hotel for a whole month, it's actually a lot cheaper, sometimes 30 to 40% cheaper if you stay long-term. So this is something you want to keep in mind. And also, whenever you decide to move somewhere, especially as a digital nomad, take your time to do your research. When you take your time, you can find really good deals. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know how much you spend in one week in Guadalajara. Let me know if I missed anything. Do not forget to subscribe and make sure to watch this video about my travel vlog here in Guadalajara. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week on my next video. Bye-bye from Mexico.